Welcome to Mike DeMay Foster Trade Adventure. There's just the signs. Guess where we are. I'll give you a hint. There's a big blue sign up here. If you watched my video the other day, remember I said that was one of the slogans people said for Pennsylvania. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Bump ahead. Pennsylvania and there were seven signs that said bump. Uh, we have 245 miles to go. We will be home. So I'm, I'm going to keep this video open and then we'll add to it as we go. Does anybody out there know 84? 84 Pennsylvania. Is that where 84 lumber started? Kind of seems like it probably did. I don't even know if that was ever a national lumber store. I know over where I live in central Pennsylvania, there used to be 84 lumbers all over the place. But I don't know. Kind of think maybe it's an unusual name. I thought when I first saw them, 84 lumber. Actually, and, uh, I guess I didn't think that because they were around before 1984. I always thought it had something to do with 1984, the year. But, yeah, if anybody knows, I'd, I'd love to know. Right, we're past Pittsburgh. Um, New Stanton's not far. That's the goal, New Stanton. Get there, we get on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and then put this puppy on cruise control, kick back, relax, enjoy some of the popcorn that May's eating right now. That's a old railroad bridge. I say old, they still use it. If you see those white things on the side, like little posts, I can't really focus on one. Uh, this, that bridge we just crossed has uh, it's called automatic solders uh, because winters get so bad, especially out here around Pittsburgh. They have they spray chemical on the road like every so often. It'll it'll spray chemical out on the road to melt the ice. They used to have lots of accidents on that bridge when the weather was bad. I mean, they worked this road hard. This, we're on I-70 right now, uh, coming up to I-76, or not, well, I guess it is I-76, it's Pennsylvania Turnpike. But, yeah, they put those the automatic solders in. And, now that's probably the best stretch of road you can be on during during bad weather. Just the bridge, not the whole road here, but the bridge. Well, folks, we made it to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Now I can just chill out and relax. Usually not much traffic. Most people don't want to pay to run it. I say usually. Sometimes you get surprised by it, but we're down the home stretch now. About three hours. We'll be we'll be home. It says three hours twenty two minutes, but it I know for a fact from here it won't take that long. And we keep building there, building our time, building it. We're a half hour ahead now, we have 30 minutes to spare. To get home. So, what I started out worrying about this morning, um, I really didn't have to worry about it. Susan won't shut up, so I can talk to you guys. There's the side I've been looking for. 
We live about 20 miles north of Harrisburg. I've been waiting three weeks to see that sign. What, hon? The Harrisburg 17. Yep. All right. I guess I better get back to driving. This curve's pretty sharp here, coming right up. All right, so we're on the turnpike. Um, climbing, it's probably the biggest climb we'll have. There's one more decent one over by uh, Sidling Hill. But we just figured most of the leaves would be off the trees back here. They're actually, a lot of them are still green. They're just, just starting to turn. But, um, it's going to be getting dark soon. I still want to catch, there's some tunnels we go through. I'm going to get those on here before I end the video. Uh, we're just about to the top of the hill, so it's time for me to let her fly down the other side. Alright, so we're going in the first tunnel. It looks a lot more daylight on this camera than it does in real. This is the Allegheny Mountain the one under. So this is tunnel number one. Going across the PA turnpike. Literally just go under that mountain that you saw right before we came in. Um, on the other side, as we're getting out the other end, it's I'll have to. to your eyes if you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hand the camera to Meg. Because when we come out of here, it's a sharp left hand turn and you start down a mountain. So, here, Meg. Oh, it's right through my eyes, honey. The tunnel. Well, just look at the camera and that won't hurt your eyes. When we come out of here, May, we start right down the mountain. Attention. And we 
can show uh, last tunnel in a couple minutes. The last two tunnels are back to back. You go through one and come out of Only it. one tunnel left, right? No, it's two more tunnels. Oh, sorry. I thought that it's only one left. No, you go through the one, I think it's Nittany. Come out the other side, and you're only out of the tunnel for about 200 yards, and then you're back into the next tunnel. All right. This is back to back tunnels. Back to back tunnel. Yeah. This oh. is the first one is Nittany Mountain Tunnel. Second one is Blue Mountain. That's the mountain range that May and I live in. Ah. May and I live in the Blue Mountain. <laughs> the Blue Mountain. Why it's blue? I don't know. It's it's green, but they call it blue. Maybe they were colorful. <laughs> um, anytime I'm driving, when I get to the last tunnel, even though we're still about an hour from home. I feel like I'm home. You come down off the mountains into the flats. The mountains are to our left. They run north. Um, so all car honey is passing over here in the tunnel? Yeah, trucks have to stay in the right lane. Okay. But you're not oh, supposed to pass. Or, this is the last? Yeah, this is it. This is Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain has wow, the brightest light. it's really bright. Yeah. That's because we're special. It's more brighter <laughs> over to the yeah. tree. Wow. This is the... All these mountains put together are the Appalachian Mountains. But it's different mountain ranges. Well, we cut the video off before we got through the tunnel because uh, my storage is low. Yeah. I haven't been able to back up my guy. phone since we've been out here, so when I get home, I'll be able to back it up and get rid of a lot of junk on there. But yeah, basically all I was saying that Blue Ridge Mountains, they they run to the north of us and we catch back up to them just as we're getting home about 10 miles before we get home. We're, we live right in the Susquehanna River Valley, right in the beginning of the Blue Ridge, uh, Blue Ridge Mountain. Uh, that's all I was going to say. Um, we're an hour basically an hour from home. Um, I think it's probably a good place to end it up because there's not really much exciting going on from here on in. And we will be doing videos while we're home. We'll get stuff posted. I don't know what yet, but maybe we'll film the Asian market if we're able to go down there. Thank you for watching everybody. Thanks for going along with us the last three weeks. Stick around with us this weekend and we'll head back out Tuesday morning. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Until next time. Thank you.